Hey guys, nice retro game nerd here, and this is another pick of video. Um, we got some really exciting packages in the mail from my new wave buying games. I also had a great garage sale haul. So let's get to the first package. I already opened this, this came earlier in the week. And I got this fine for $40. And that was shipped. So I got a complete box N64, no games. It's got a uh, controller with a tight stick. It came with a red controller. And uh, you know, it's a complete box. Box is in pretty rough shape though, as you can see. So because of the shape, I will be selling it because I really think I can get a better condition box for an N64. Plus 40 bucks is a really good deal. I mean, you could sell, I mean, they go for like at least a hundred, right? So, you know, complete box N64. 40 bucks, I'll pick that up. And now let's get into the next package. Now, uh, I have the addresses on the other side. I really don't, you know, I don't want to show it, of course. So that's why it's all like blank, so it's on the other side. So, um, I got this deal for $15 plus $10 shipping, even though it only costs her $7.70. But I got a uh, Super Nintendo Mini with two controllers. Two controllers. Let's take it out back. So in total I paid $25 for this, which is actually a really good deal. That's, you know, I think. Looks me in, to be in, you know, decent shape. It's, uh, it's got a few scuffs on it, but not too bad. And I've actually built up so many Super Nintendo minis. I decided to sell them because I've I have four extras, and then you know this will be a fifth extra because I have one complete box. So I got two controllers, which really helps, you know. And uh, I just ordered a bunch of AC adapters and. AV cables for like two, three bucks each. Except for the AC adapter, that was I think five dollars free shipping. So, I mean, if I sell a bunch, you know, for like I don't know, where do they go for like sixty bucks? You know, I'd be making some good money on it. So, just a bunch of extra consoles I had. So that was another package, and we got this big one with the system and. I you know, I completely forgot uh, what's in here. But she actually has really nice handwriting. So let's get to it. Where's my knife? Where's my knife? Oh, there it is. I actually probably don't even need it. Yeah, I don't need it. So, let's see what it gets. Oh, that's neat. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I got an N64, some games, and a bunch of Wii games. I think I paid 25 So we got a complete box of War Gods. Box uh, appears to be in really nice shape. Oh yeah, the game's an original, like, baggy. So this was obviously never played. Holy crap. This is really cool. So, there's that game. Sorry about this. I'll just leave it like that. You know, she had one N64 game and a bunch of Wii games, so I was like, hey, do you have this system or any more games? She said, you know, let me look around, and she found some. But here are the Wii games. She won $15 for all this. Also got an active thing, which I will not be keeping, of course. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Complete copy. Uh, just some silly Disney Princess game. Trivial Pursuit. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Olympic Games, just regular. Just Dance 3, and a game I was really excited to get was Mario Kart on the Wii. 
I'm actually... Do I have this game? I actually may not have Mario Kart on the Wii. So this is exciting. And uh, another N64 game I got was GoldenEye 007. So I think I paid 25 for all this. And uh, N64 system with the uh, expansion pack. And it's got the AV cable and the AC adapter. This long, uh, you know, with a Mad Cat's GameCube memory card and uh, two N64 controllers. They're both the same color. That one has a really tight stick. And that one has a tight stick. Nice! That's actually a really big bonus. You always see two controllers and, you know, only like one of them has a tight stick. So that's awesome. Okay, now we actually get to some garage sale finds. So there was really only one garage sale that was a really big score. <laughs> you see a box GameCube just like completely falling out of the box, but um, yeah, I spent $100 on all this. Not too bad. I mean, I counted everything's value to be worth $330, so that felt a lot better knowing I got it for $100. Bucks. But I don't know, I just kind of felt like I rushed the deal. I just wanted the stuff, you know. I just, you know, I just wanted to buy it, you know. So I should have like taken a breather and been like 85 or something. You know, I got it for 100 So, um, so yeah, um, he seemed, you know, he seemed like he wasn't negotiable, but he also seemed kind of firm. He was like, I have no idea what about this stuff, but then again, he was pretty up there in prices. And he also had some other stuff, but he overpriced like a PS2 with a bunch of games for $100. And a DS with like 15 games for 50 bucks, no Mario's, no nothing really. Just a bunch of like crap games. So I got his number, and I'm going to tell him what it's worth, and then make a fair offer from there. Because obviously he's overvaluing it. Or like being based on what he paid for back then. So I got all this for 100 bucks. A complete box GameCube. He kept all the boxes, which is awesome. And I put everything back in this box. I put the GameCube, put a memory card, controller. I'll show you guys. Yeah. So it, the box had the inserts, so I decided to uh, go all out and put everything back in. So everything's in there. It's missing the manual, but I actually have a spare GameCube manual, like it's still in the bag and everything, so I'll just put that in. And I have the um, I have the Metroid Prime bundle, and under that is just a silver GameCube, so I'll be selling this. So. And what do they go for, like, I'm actually not sure, like 60 bucks, complete box? Oh yeah, and also had a second GameCube controller, and I wasn't sure if it, uh, two controllers came in the box, but I could fit it. But, uh, it's got a sticky stick. I don't know, if maple syrup got it, I don't know, just maybe clean a little bit. Got this sort of cable with it. Monster GameCube cable. Something that was really exciting was a uh, GameCube Game Boy player. The reason why it was exciting was because it came with the disc, which is one of the hardest things to find out in the wild. A GameCube player disc. So this is awesome. There's like, let's look at the disc condition. So I remember GameStop was selling these for like really, really like wicked cheap. I mean, it's got some light scratches, so it's definitely playing. So, Game Boy Player Disc. I actually have one already, so <laughs> selling that would, you know, definitely get most of my money back with, with uh, the GameCube and the Player Disc. I mean, it'd be making a little bit of money just from that. Just from stuff, you know, I already have. So, he kept, like, all the manuals and stuff, so I got a DS and stuff for manual. He threw in a DS Lite, uh, he wrote, uh, Fussy Screen, Touch Screen Fussy, $10 he priced this at, so I'll have to dig into it, I don't know, I don't know about it, so. 
in this pink case is a pink DS, and it's in a really nice shape. It's like connected to this case. So this guy had a uh, DSi as well, so it was with the $50 deal he wanted. A Nintendo DS case, it's empty. I got two chargers for the DS. I found a 3DS charger. Um, I'll show you the GameCube games first. Midway Arcade Treasures 3. I'm not sure if this is valuable. I know a Midway Arcade Treasures is uncommon. I think it might be on the Xbox or GameCube. I'm not sure, but I should look into this and see if it, if it's worth keeping or selling, possibly. Sims 2 Pets. Pitfall of Lost Expedition. Nanko Museum. Finding Nemo. SpongeBob SquarePants Movie. Mario Sunshine. That's a nice game. Game came fully complete. Madden 07. This was a really nice game. Zelda The Wind Waker. And these cases are in really nice shape. I mean, it feels like. Well, I mean, he had a bunch of girls, and I guess I just kept kept a really good shape of their stuff, so... Game came complete. That game came complete. I'm, like, slurring right now. So, we got Sonic Mega Collection. I mean, look at the condition of the case. It's, like, such a nice shape. So that game comes complete. We got Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. Is complete and Charlie and the Chalk Factory. I'll be selling, I think, maybe all of those except for Midway, maybe. I don't know. And lastly, they priced this stuff at 25 you know, included in the hundred dollar deal. But I got a boxed Game Boy SP with like 10 box games and a bunch of loose cards, so I could not pass this up. I mean, I've been looking for this for a while. A boxed GBA SP, and this is the backlight model. And um, I've been looking for a you know complete box Game Boy for a really long time. The SP version. I grew up with it, and you know I lost these all the time. And my parents had to go to Target. And I think it was only like sixty, seventy dollars um, towards the end of the Game Boy's life. So. I put everything in the box, you know, I put the, uh, the SP in here. I'll be selling the SP console, because they go for like 50 bucks and already have this color. This is called Pearl Blue. It's a pretty used, you know, condition, but they still go for like 50 bucks no matter what shape it is, as long as, long as it works great. So maybe 45 or something, I don't know, but yeah, All right, Game Boy SP. AGS 101 backlight model. So that was really awesome. I'll be keeping the box though, you know, I'll just be selling the game one, so. Yeah, there's that. And he must have been really cheap when it came to the games, because there's nothing too special. It must have been all games for like 15 bucks a new or something. You know, some a lot of the cheaper end titles. Uh, Namco Museum, Frogger's Adventure. This was a good one. Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Nick Nicktoons Collection Volume One. Um, Dinotopia. Maybe it's Dinotopia, but he wrote the label on it. He wrote like the label. Chicken Little. And a bunch of complete in box games. Nothing to write home about, but you know. They're, uh. I mean, if I sell these, which I will because they're nothing special, you know, like Quad Desert Fury and uh, the Game of Life Yahtzee and Payday. I might keep this one. Harry Potter Goblet of Fire. 
I remember playing the Goblet. I mean, I remember playing the Harry Potter. I remember playing Chamber of Secrets, uh, Sorcerer's Stone. I played on the PC and the Game Boy. So I'll have to try this out. If I like it, I'll keep it. But usually I don't keep those kind of games. Uh, you know, Strawberry Shortcake, of course I won't keep that. But <laughs> you just hear me saying, oh, I won't keep that. You know, just sell it. You know, from a collector's standpoint like mine, we're not I'm not looking for a complete Game Boy collection, so I'm not really looking to keep these uh kind of crappy titles. You know, like Candyland, Shoots and Ladders, original memory game, you know. And plus I got a big basement and I'm just actually filling it up with tons of games, so I kinda need to uh be a, you know, I need to calm down on filling it up, you know. Mousetrap, Operation, and Simon, and Pac-Man Collection. So, that whole haul for a hundred bucks, I actually, you know, oh yeah, I told you that before, but I told, tallied everything, it'd be worth three thirty. dollars just made it feel really good, so, I mean, yeah, so I got some excellent finds for this week. I got some more packages coming in soon with some really exciting stuff that I've been really wanting. And I'll give you a hint, it's a Sega Genesis game, and it's also in the Super Nintendo, and it's like such an awesome game. And I got it for really cheap, and I, I don't know, I'm just so excited for, uh, for it to come on Monday, and just, you know. So, I'll see you guys later, and I'll see you, you know, see you guys in the next episode.